Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today guys, we're going to discuss Gemini Deacon 3. So this is a very interesting Gemini. Uh, most of the Gemini Deacons, well, 1 and 2, are very social. The last one goes from about June 10th to June 20th. Um, they're the least social, but they're still very adaptable to social situations. Um, so what we have here is the more introverted type, but they still tend to get what they want when it comes to social interactions. They know how to operate with people, but they actually do like their solitude. Um, so to expand on that a little bit, this Gemini is related to the planet Uranus, and it's also related to what we'd call Rahu if we're studying numerology. So with Rahu or Uranus, it's still the same sort of um, influence where it has a very um, black sheep type of archetype. Uh, these people will go against the herd. They do not like following social norms and they tend to get what they want either by cunning or by force. So with Mercury um, conjoining with this planet, uh, we do get a really great combination actually because we have now I'm um, a communicative planet like Mercury that's good with business, good with trades, um, good at learning very quickly at lightning speeds. And then you get Uranus or Rahu that's very good at absorbing information, knowledge, and has a great memory and is able to be very resourceful and also has a very good um, discipline and organizational tendency. So this actually bounces out Gemini's lack of discipline and sort of scatterbrain tendencies. It actually bounces out and grounds it so that when the Gemini has a lot of um, random ideas, it then gets brought to fruition because they're actually thinking. They're actually saying, how can I bring this? Um, how can I ground my dream into reality? So very great combination. There's a lot of notable people that were born under this one. I'd say Tupac, uh, you can bring up Donald Trump, who's not the very popular person right now, but he did become president. Um, we also have people like Ice Cube, very successful business mogul as well. And when you we discuss these types of people, they did come minus Trump, they came from impoverished places and they still made a lot out of uh, what they had. And that really would describe this Gemini Deacon as people that really are able to draw on their resources and actually use their mind and direct it to actually get their needs met. Um, when it comes to careers, I'd recommend, well, based on what I read, I would recommend business for sure. Um, what I read, though, was teaching, I guess because you guys are very much able to articulate what's in your mind and actually make other people understand it. And because you can communicate in a very versatile manner, that'd be great. Um, law, of course, because you guys like to use cunning or force. So being coming a lawyer or a prosecutor, any of those things is going to work great for you. Also, anything to do even with the arts as well. Um, you guys are able to um, utilize like your artistic skills if you have a creative outlet but you're able to actually put a business sense on it as well so that'd be very great for you guys also anything to do with like writing or journalism um, that would work great and of course every gemini deacon has sales just because the communication style is impeccable and you guys are definitely able to get people to see things your way and you all you guys can also make um people see things in another way if you want them to the reason you guys are able to do this, especially with the third deacon, is that you guys take more time to analyze and think. And this is also why it leads to my last thing, which leads to politics, of course. Um, there was George Bush as well, who's born under the third deacon. And what we have is somebody who is able to analyze what people want to hear and then give it to them. So if you have a great empathy sense, you're able to then get into somebody else's brain and then you can in turn manipulate them. I'm not saying that this Gemini Deacon is evil by any means. I'm just saying it as it is. It's, this is a very good planetary influence to have. It really grounds Mercury a lot and actually directs Mercury to achieve great ends. All right. So that's the full summary for the Gemini Deacon 3. I'm going to come back tomorrow with um, Cancer Deacon 1, who's a very much polar opposite to the Gemini Deacons. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding any of the Deacons whatsoever or any of my prior videos, just please leave it in the comments for me. Or you can DM me at ShemsUniverse 8.0. Or last but not least, email me at Shem underscore Roy at Hotmail.com. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with Cancer, guys. Be safe.